Yes sir, yes sir, yes sir, yes sir, yes sir. Straight to it, straight to it, straight to it, gang. Hey man, say man, bumpy rolls equal bumpy success, man. Hey man, say man, never settle for less. Count and bet on yourself, man. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, man, you know, it's gonna be situations where, you know, it's gonna be a little bit different from how you planned it. You know what I'm saying? Nothing goes how it's planned. You feel what I'm saying? Nothing in life goes as a plan, man. But hey, I take the I take the L's and W's as a blessing, you know what I'm saying? Because hey, I'll make you stronger. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of people, man, who have not went through nothing tough in their life, man, who got it all easy, man. They gonna be the weakest one. They gonna get out the paint easy, you know what I'm saying? Hey, during this type of time, man, you gotta be ready, man. This is a war. You know what I'm saying? We in a war, man. People don't understand that, man. You know, in this lifetime, man, you got to cut some people off, man. You know what I'm saying? Because if, you know, it's going to be success. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be bumpy. But if you got people beside you who is who's praying on your downfall, you can't have the people in your life, man. You know what I'm saying? You know, success take time. You know what I'm saying? Success take um. Motivation to get to that level, you did crook. You know what I'm saying? Nothing comes easy in life. You know what I'm saying? Everything you gotta work for. You know what I'm saying? Some people, you know what I'm saying? They do certain things, but you know, we 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 focus on the path that's gonna get us to the right position. You know what I'm saying? Life, you feel me? Uh, it gives you ups and downs. You know what I'm saying? Success is in the eye of the beholder. You know what I'm saying? You never really. You never really truly successful until you really feel like you're successful yourself. You know what I'm saying? Um, it, it's different stages in life. You feel me? Where you where you where you become successful? You know what I'm saying? Um, just because your success don't look like it's success to other people, don't mean it's not successful. You know what I'm saying? People got their own opinion on what success and what blessing is. Some people believe in materialistic. Some people believe in um, popularity and fame. Or some people believe in spirituality and wisdom, you know what I'm saying? We all go through life with our own paths to, to success, you feel what I'm saying? And, you know, Crip, when you get through this type of lifestyle, man, you don't find out which 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 path you're going to go on, man. Which one going to make you feel better in life, you feel me? Um, if you count on other people to count to tell you how successful you is, you'll never be successful, man. You know what I'm saying? People going to... People gonna hold your flowers back and hold your success back because of how they feel, you know what I'm saying? When people feel a certain type of way, man, they'll say whatever, you know what I'm saying? Just to get you, get close to you or make you feel some type of way. You know, there's times where success where, you know, you know, people like, well, you doing super successful, you so successful. And yeah, you might, you might be successful, but the whole time they got their hands in your pocket, you know what I'm saying? Or you be, oh, oh, you successful, you successful. You know what I'm saying? And the whole time, you know what I'm saying? They just trying to like get you, get you caught lacking. You feel me? But sometimes you get some just some genuine people who believe in your success. You know what I'm saying? Will help you uh get to where you need to, man. You know you don't want to settle for nothing in life, man. You know what I'm saying? You want the best of the best. You didn't trip. Life gonna give you um moments where you feel like you want to settle and and stay right here. No. Cause you know what I'm saying, you never want to get too comfortable, man. That's when they come for you. You see know what I'm saying? You always gotta stay on the move. You know what I'm saying? You gotta switch it up. You know what I'm saying? Seven. You know what I'm saying? That's for nobody. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, a nigga like me want the best of the best. You know what I'm saying? People gonna come in your life, man, and they don't want you to settle. You know what I'm saying? That, that these niggas don't want to see you succeed. You know what I'm saying? So they don't make you want to settle for something less. You know what I'm saying? Cause they know that you deserve more than what you get. But at the same time, these niggas ain't going to tell you that. They don't keep you at this little low rate, you know what I'm saying, so they can, so they can you know what I'm saying, get what they get off you. You know what I'm saying? Never let people feel that they can uh, control your way of living, control your way of um, success, you know what I'm saying? We all get blessed in our own ways, you know what I'm saying? Some people, man, they don't value they, they blessings or they success, so they can go into your success, you know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, man, you know, we all get blessed with, with certain gifts and certain traits that makes us all want to achieve the best of the best. You know what I'm saying? Some people, man, they just don't never, 
They just don't never get to that point where they want to achieve the best of the best. They good with what they got. You know what I'm saying? They good with what they got. And, you know, you can't be good with what you got. You know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, man, just because, just because you're comfortable don't mean that you're doing, you know what I'm saying, good. You know what I'm saying? I, I, you know, I, I always felt and learned that sometimes you got to be uncomfortable to be comfortable. You know what I'm saying? When you got all hell going at you and you, you everything's wild, that's when you really, that's when you really get to where you need to get to. You dig what I'm saying, Crip? A lot of people don't understand it. They feel like, oh, you gotta go through good times your whole life. You know what I'm saying? And so when you, and then you get people who try to settle with you. They ain't used to uh, the hard moments. You know what I'm saying? Cause you, I'm a type of nigga who always like to go hard and change it up, switch it up. People who like to just get comfortable and settle. These niggas, they so used to the normal. They ain't never been put in a tough situation. To where they gotta, you know what I'm saying? Um, to where they gotta be, uh, kind of different. You know what I'm saying? These motherfuckers, they used to like, you know what I'm saying, living a boring. I ain't saying boring lifestyle. Cause nothing wrong with boring, but they used to live in a a a a, a, a lifestyle that's already kind of like, you know what I'm saying, put in a comfortable perspective. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, you can't you can't you can't let other people try to get you comfortable. Cause sometimes many people just don't have a good. The good intentions, you know what I'm saying? They just don't have good intentions. They try to get you comfortable, so they get that mindset, oh, you comfortable, you can just call and do what you do. Then the whole time, they, they plotting, you know what I'm saying? Then these people, man, you know, you know, it's nothing like a motherfucker who's comfortable, and when you got some shit going on, they they jump, they jump quick, you know what I'm saying? These motherfuckers will jump quick. If any sign of trouble, any sign of anything, these motherfuckers are jumping quick, you know what I'm saying? And you know, I, I had a type of mindset to where, you know what I'm saying, I'm used to it, you know what I'm saying, I'm used to chaos, I'm used to shit where it's always, you know what I'm saying, kind of not fucking up, but it's like, you know, you gotta, you gotta be smart, you know what I'm saying, you gotta make weight, something out of nothing. A lot of niggas not like that, they get into that type of situation, they fuck, you know what I'm saying? And then you got people, you don't wanna get, you don't wanna get, um, comfortable, Mixed up with um with setups, you know what I'm saying? When you get a comfortable, when you get comfortable, man, and you try to get switched up, you know what I'm saying? That's different. You know, you want to be stuck the same. You know, you trying to switch up to get better. When somebody try to set you up, they purposely trying to set you up. You know what I'm saying? It's not about being, being. It's not about being comfortable. It's not about being um right. You know what I'm saying? These motherfuckers trying to take you out. You know what I'm saying? And you know, you got a lot of people who would who would drop the location and set you up. That's why I'm not in a relationship right now. You know what I'm saying? For all people who wonder if I'm in No. These females these days, they would drop the location, they would set you up. I've been in a situation where motherfuckers would try to set you up, try to get you out the paint, man. Yeah, they'll try to they'll try to um play your mindset. You know what I'm saying? And it's not even like, it's like, yeah, they can get money on off of you, but the whole time, it's like, they want clout. They want fame. They want all that type of shit. They don't really give a fuck about um, your success or what you're trying to do in life. They really just want to set you up and get what, not even get nothing out of it. They just want to take you out. You know what I'm saying? You, that's the difference between being comfortable. Because when you're comfortable and you try to switch it up, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's a little bit different, but you're not trying to crash out. You're just trying to switch it up so you won't get too comfortable. And when it's different is when niggas trying to set you up, they niggas trying to take you out at any means necessary. You know what I'm saying? So I, I have been in a situation where females these days, man, you never know if they might try to drop the location. They get a num they get a number out to everybody and they they they'll talk to somebody and tell you, yeah, yeah, whoop the whoop, yeah, he right here. You can't let motherfuckers know your next move, man. You gotta cut these motherfuckers off, man. Some people don't understand we in the war. You know what I'm saying? And then you never want to settle for a disrespect. You know what I'm saying? If somebody disrespects you and, and they don't really even know you, you got to cut them off. You know what I'm saying? Your, your mindset, your mind frame, and your positivity is way more important than their negativity. You know what I'm saying? A lot of these people, man, they feel that about themselves. You know what I'm saying? So they have to try to put their thoughts and what they feel about themselves on you. And, you, and, when you. and once you know that off the bat, cut them off. Because these people, man, they don't they don't have the best intentions for you, man. They really want what you got. 
They want your spot. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, you might not even be doing better than these niggas. They just want your spot and ain't what you got because they know what's your blessing on your life. These people don't really, really want the best of the best for you. You know what I'm saying? So it's always, you know, you got to put your success past these motherfucking feelings. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, man, there's nothing wrong with trying to find somebody to fuck with, man. But at the same time, don't get stuck in a location where it's not gonna, it's not gonna work. You know what I'm saying? You gotta cut, you gotta figure it out on the back. You gotta figure people out, man, because, man, if they not, you gotta understand, man, people not getting successful like you, they will try to stop your success because they know that they ain't gonna never be on your level. They know they, no matter if they get, no matter what, spiritually, anything, they can't get back, they can't get on your level. So they don't try anything to try to stop what you got going at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? So you gotta always remember, it's gonna be bumpy roads in your success, but you gotta understand when somebody trying to help you out, and then when you got haters, you know what I'm saying? When it's a hater, oh yeah, they trying to take you out. They want you, they want you to be alive, they want you gone, they don't want you have. They really don't, and if they don't get what you got, they just want you gone. You know what I'm saying? And then when you got somebody who really trying to help you become better, they make it uncomfortable. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, they know that, okay, yeah, I know I really fuck with this dude, so I don't really want to get this nigga out the paint. So I'm going to try to make it uncomfortable for him, but at the same time, I still know that, hey, I fuck with this nigga, I ain't trying to take this nigga out. So it's two different type of ways you will know if somebody trying to be a hater or they trying to motivate you. You know what I'm saying? It's two different type of levels, you know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, man, you know, Never settle, you know what I'm saying? Never settle for less. Because some people, man, they will, un they, they will, bo they will boost their egos. And to some people, they'll be like, damn, this nigga is this and that. And he with me? They think they can do whatever. You know what I'm saying? These motherfuckers think they will do whatever. They think they can crash out on you. They think they can talk to anybody. They think they can fuck with anybody. They just think they can do anything. You know what I'm saying? Because they think that they got you. you and then, that's why I try to tell niggas, we are the prizes, you know what I'm saying? Bitch is not the prizes. You gotta understand that. Then, even then, you don't wanna put yourself on the shelf. You know what I'm saying? You don't wanna put yourself on the shelf because they will put you on the shelf and try to keep you on that shelf and they'll sell you out on the shelf, on the shelf. You know what I'm saying? They'll just be like, oh yeah, look, who, look at who I'm talking to. And they'll fuck with anybody else, but they'll be like, oh yeah, I, but I talk to that though. You know what I'm saying? You never wanna, you never wanna put somebody, let somebody put you on the shelf and try to sell you. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, man, you got to have control over your own dreams, over your own life goals, over your own intuition, man. You know what I'm saying? When you feel that something in your gut is telling you, hey, you might need to check out right now because these motherfuckers, they not, they don't have the best interest for you. You know what I'm saying? You, you listen to that mindset because a lot of times, man, your gut is going to tell you what's really going on, what's really happening, man. You know what I'm saying? When, you know, you live this type of lifestyle, man, you got to always be on your P's and Q's. You know what I'm saying? Crip. Because motherfuckers these days, man, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, man, they, they want to see your success. But they don't get a part of your success. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They crashing out. They don't try, they try to take you out. Most definitely, you know what I'm saying? And that's why I always, you know what I'm saying? I always... The best type of revenge is success. Then you gonna see motherfuckers try to come back to you. You know what I'm saying? Even if they try to get money on, they gonna be like, oh yeah, I need this. But you got you, you, you get what I'm saying? So the best always success, you know what I'm saying? Always become the best version of yourself. And never take revenge in your own hands, give it to Yahweh. Because at the end of the day, man, nobody can get revenge like Yahweh. You dig what I'm saying? So, hey man, stay prayed up. Stay out here, man, you know what I'm saying? Always. Stay focused on your success, you know what I'm saying? It's gonna be bumpy, it's gonna be kinda crazy, but as long as you know what to do, man, you know, hey, that you, hey, you protect it out here, hey, do what you gotta do, man, because motherfuckers these days, man, they wanna see you lose at the end of the day. They don't wanna see niggas win, you know what I'm saying? Cause if they not winning, why would they wanna see you win? You know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers not like that. If they, if they, if they not winning, they don't want nobody winning. You know what I'm saying? Then that's just the sad truth about situation. That's why I don't count on nobody, I don't, I don't trust nobody of anything in my career or what I got to go in life or what I do in life. I don't trust nobody. I don't trust nobody to help me get out what I'm doing. I don't trust nobody to stay with. I don't trust nobody to, to marry. I don't trust nobody to live with. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, you got to always be self-independent and be ready for that move to say, hey, I'm going to have to do what I do on my own if it came down to it type shit. But hey, man, I hope y'all enjoyed the video, man. Make sure y'all like and subscribe. Kevin, two-time option for the one time, one time. Keep it real out here. Good, no, I'm sorry. Good rip shit, man. Gang shit.